Hello from Sketch Data. Um, in this video, I'd like to give you a quick demo on creating a report with our reporting extension. So I have SketchUp open, and I'm just going to bring in, in this case, some dynamic components, but you can bring in any components you want that would have attributes on it, because that's what we're going to report on. And one of the options is about images, printing out images. So I'm going to use a toggle that sets the a flag on each one of these components that says I want an image for these. The extension can report images on everything, but sometimes that can be time consuming and I don't want images and everything. In this case I just want images for these cabinets and I don't want the images for the parts. So I can use that filter. If we open up the extension and that's where this filter comes in. If you turn this checkbox on, I'm only going to get images for the objects that I flagged. If I do this one, I'm going to get for all objects. So we'll go back to here. We'll create some data. And it tells me the entities and attributes. And you can see I have the three images that were created. So we're in business. Let's go and uh, create a report. Just going to resize this up the video. Okay, I'm just going to start with the blank report and the, the extension works full functioning, free, it just has a trial watermark. But we'll take our blank report and we'll go to design mode. And let's say the first thing I want to do is change this image. So we can go design and we can change the logo. And where it looks at is where the reports are stored. And I'm running Windows so the the reports are stored in a subfolder under the plugins. Same with the image. Here's the one it's currently using. Let's switch to this Acme image. So now that we've changed the image for that, so now uh, just swapped out the images. Let's go and add some data. So we'll go over here and add a data band. And now I have my data sources. This report's linked to the, the sketch data export. So I have attributes, a parent-child relationship in case you wanted to do something that linked uh, parts to their components, or I have just the entities. And so I'm going to use the entities here. So now I've linked it to the entities. And let's also add an image here. And I want it to be linked to a data column entity. And I know that data is stored in this field. And we'll do the stretch. So uh, one other thing I want to do is, uh, is filter this report. Well, let's not do that. We'll actually add a text box, and then I'll show you the difference. Um, we'll add some text. And we'll link it to a data column entity. Let's get the entity ID. Let's do another data column. Definition. And we'll do a length. Just going to drop in the length, width, and height of each of those boxes. Okay, so now if I go preview, we can see all the different entities. And we're not going to have images for all those, just because I set it to only export the ones I filtered. So we'll go back to layout again. And before we continue, let's save this report. And all the reports save into this subfolder in the plugin. So um, if you decide to uninstall the plugin, make sure you back up any custom reports you have. Or if you want to deploy the reports to other uh, users, you would be deploy deploying these MRT. Or you can deploy, the deploy this whole folder, which would have your any images you want to use. But uh, let's save this report. So I go to Info, 
and options and description. So right now we're using the blank report and let's just call this uh, demo report. Hit OK and I'll hit save. And so now if we go back in that subfolder, we should see a demo report. There it is. That's the new report we created. So now it's saved. I didn't overwrite my standard blank template, so to speak. Uh, let's see. Let's add a filter to this data band just so we can get down just to our... And when we were in there, we used that data image toggle inside SketchUp. It was setting an attribute called data image. So it allows me to filter and only generate images uh, for certain objects. So now if we preview, we only have those three objects being exported and I have the three images that were created. Uh, let's see. One other thing I want to do is to show you how to do a calculated field. So we'll go over here and drag in a text box. And we'll type in a formula. So we're going to use a, we're going to round it to a certain decimal place. And we want to use entity. And we want the length of x divided by 12 times entity dot length of y divided by 12 times entity. And we'll round it to one decimal place. And then what we want to do is we want it to evaluate it. So we'll use the these special brackets to tell it to evaluate. And then we'll append on some text at the end of it. So now if we go back to preview. So now it tells me that's 18.7 uh, cubic feet, 9.3, things like that. So that's a little bit of calculations. Obviously, you can get. Um, all kinds of stuff you want in there. And we'll just go back to layout. We'll go back to save again. And then we'll hit exit, which will take us back to our main report viewer. And you can see here's still our de default blank report. But now we've created this new demo report. And these other ones are just kind of some standard reports that come with the plugin, just for examples. But here's the report. Like here's one of the other reports. We go back to demo. There it is. You can change these icons to be specific images if you want, just to kind of give you an idea what they look like. And those images are going to be stored uh, where you match the name of the report. So here are the back here are, the, are these standard um, image files, and they match the report name. So we just created a demo uh, demo report. So if we were to edit this this image, then that's what we would see displayed here. It, it, usually, what I do is I do a pre print preview, take a little screen capture of what I see, shrink it down, and that way, when I'm looking at these, I get an idea, remember what that uh, report looks like. Um, I hope you find this report uh, helpful. Thank you for watching.